What do you know about this junk heap? I guess there are ancient ruins buried there? It's full of old scrap and other weird stuff that no one understands. To get there, we have to cross the Iron Bridge to the northeast. Popolis says these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time in the old world. Humans certainly were wise back then. I don't know. If they were so smart, why did we end up like this? It's the missing dog. That poor old man's gonna be pretty upset. We should at least give him a proper burial. Hey, wait. I think the dog has something in his mouth. It's some kind of leaf. This is a rather dangerous location for leaf hunting. I wager this decision cost the animal its life. Well, the least we can do is bring it back to the old man. It's too bad about that poor dog. This is gonna be hard for that old-timer to deal with. Be they dog or man, no living thing can escape their ultimate fate. That include you, Vice? In truth, I have never considered the question. I suppose at some point in time I may simply wink out of existence. Well, that sounds horrible. Um, say... Yeah? See here, lad. If I ever find myself departing this world... Quit being morbid, Vice. Besides, you can't die. You're made of paper. Hmm. One can always hope, I suppose.
Jacob, I'm hungry. I know, hold on. Maybe we have some old bread here. Hey there. Oh, welcome. Please, come in. What is this place? It's my shop. I'm the finest smith in these parts. Uh, usually. See, my brother and I build items from scrap we find in the junk heap. But we're a little low on supplies at the moment. The junk heap, you say? That's right. Folks say it used to be a military base. I don't know about that, but there's lots of great stuff in there. It's not exactly the safest place in the world, but... We gotta eat, you know? So it's just the two of you out here? Our father died when Gideon was very young. And Mom is... She's out right now. Getting supplies. But I'm sure she'll be... Mom's been gone for seven days. When's she coming back? Seven days? That's a long time. It's getting harder to find good scrap. She probably had to go deeper into the heap. I said I'm hungry. So, if you had the materials, would you be able to upgrade our weapons? Well, yeah, but it's really dangerous in there right now, so we... No problem. We'll go. You... you will? I want to upgrade my weapon. And besides, you need inventory for your shop, right? Well, yes, but... It's settled then. What do you need? Well, to improve your weapon, I'll need three titanium alloys. You can get them from the defense robots around the mountain. Got it. Here's a map of the complex. You're probably gonna need it. And be careful, please. It's gotten really scary in there. Is Mom back yet? What's taking so long? Bring me three titanium alloys, okay? Aye, it is bright in here. Looks like the ancient machinery is still working. Not that we have any idea how it works. Ruins from ancient times, patrolled for eons by unstoppable machines. Yeah, and I bet they're full of rare materials. be working. This place is hardly befitting one of my grand stature. 
You sure do like to complain, Vice. seem to be working. In here. Yes, hardly suitable work for children. They both look so skinny, too. I'm certain the elder has been giving his share of their food to his brother. Seems we have been shut in. Do it.
You ever wish you could just warp back to the client after you get their stuff? Whoa. Yeah, it's apparently a kind of magic that can zap you to faraway places in an instant. Ah, that one. Well, I would stay away from such devilry were I you, lad. How come? Because all of the sages who attempted said spell were reduced to mincemeat when they struck obstacles in their path. Uh, wow. All right then. Walking it is. An excellent choice. I hate being alone. I want to go find Mom. Oh, hello again. We got your materials. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'll get right to work on your weapon. Normally I charge you something, but you can have this one for free. Here you go. And thanks again. This ought to keep us going for a while longer. I want to find Mom! Is everything okay? I'm sorry. He's impatient for our mom to come back and thinks we should go look for her. We just need to wait, okay? She'll be back soon. I don't want to wait! I want to find Mom! <sighs> nice. Yes, yes, I know. We're off to search for the misplaced mother, aren't we? Please, no. I already owe you far more than I can ever repay. Ah, don't even worry about it. You don't understand. Our mother is... Hmm? Never mind. Mom usually goes pretty deep inside the mountain. You're gonna need to use the elevator, so I'd better give you the activation code. Mom usually takes the elevator down. The robots in the lower levels are pretty strong, so be careful. Oh, also, need some work done on your weapon? Come back soon. Mom usually... Oh, need some work done on your weapon? Come back soon. Hurry up and find Mom, okay? Alright, he said their mom would be somewhere deep inside the mountain, right? If I may ask, what is it that possesses you to meddle in the affairs of these children? Yona and I both know what it feels like to miss your mother.
I can't possibly believe their mother managed to fight her way down here. Um... Or, for that matter, that she has been collecting scrap metal for a solid week. <sighs> Open your eyes, lad. The woman is clearly... She's alive. <sighs> Miracles don't happen if you don't believe in them, okay? Miracles? Yeah.
Alert. Alert. Intruder detected. Unauthorized trespassers will be eliminated. Falcon <laughs> initiation. Trespassers identified. Ah, Bob's ill. It appears that only machines remain in this infernal place. What's going on? It's malfunctioning. Yeah, this might be a problem. Magic has no effect against the head. Don't let yourself be crushed. Oh, you think? of machinery. Oh, come on. Now what? Clear them all out. That's the only way. kinds of moves. Now all that remains is that oversized head. It would seem magic has no effect against the head. These chambers are loaded with bombs. No mere machine can defy us. Stay focused, Vice. It's working. Unbelievable. Such an obvious weak point. Try feeling 
off one of those bombs. It's a woman, and she's dead. I fear we have discovered the delinquent mother. So who's this other person? Hmm, it's a male. This bag has nice clothes in it, and money too. Why would she bring this stuff here? It would seem she abandoned her children to seek comfort in the arms of a swain. Oh, that's awful. So much for miracles. Instead, we have discovered the worst possible truth. What will you tell the children? I don't know. What's this? A perfume bottle? It smells of roses. I guess we should bring this back to them. Mom! She's, uh... She's in heaven now. What? It's true. Your mother's left this world. Liar! I don't believe you! Did she die alone? Uh... Well, it's okay. I know all about it. Just tell me, did she die with the ones she loved? We found two bodies. It appears they left this life as one. Okay. That's okay. Come again? Mom was always so frustrated, you know? Torn between her duty to us and her heart. I think... I think maybe this is for the best. Are you saying you forgive her? I mean, she's my mom, you know? The only one I'll ever have. We found this next to her. This is mom's perfume. It smells like her. Damn it. I can't let myself cry. If Gideon sees me like this... did the right thing. Hey, safe travels, okay? And thank you, for everything. Your actions were just. Never doubt it. Let's visit the Airy. They've got shades there. Indeed. And we may just find a sealed verse besides.
Excuse me, have you seen the old man who lives here? You mean Granddad? He passed away. His heart finally gave out on him. Oh man, looks like he went with his best friend after all. Here, hold on a second. His dog had this leaf in his mouth when we found him. That's the herb Granddad used for his heart medication. Max must have been fetching it for him. Well, I suppose I owe you a great deal. I can't give you much, but I hope you'll accept this. Such a faithful animal. You think Max and Granddad are together in heaven? I do. I'm sure of it. Welcome! Thanks for your support. It's not fair. She's so young. Her whole life is ahead of her.
But it's the first request I've made in ages. How dare you deny it? You can't leave. Who's going to tend the lighthouse? How much longer will you force me to toil here? I must go to him. I need to board a ship as soon as possible. No way, lady. It's back to work for you. Now get going. <gasps> What's going on? There's no one else in town who knows how to keep the lighthouse burning. We... we need her. <sighs> Look, she seems to trust you. Think you could maybe talk her into it? I suppose a visit is an order, yes? I hope you can reason with her better than I have. That old lady in the lighthouse is a real pain. case at that. So that's the illness she kept mentioning. Oh, you. I suppose you want to tell everyone about my illness, hmm? Well, don't. I don't fear death. I've lived long enough and I'm weary of it. I'm weary of being alone. But though I don't fear death, I do have one regret. I wanted to see my love one last time. I've spent 50 years working the lighthouse for these people, and now they won't let me leave. I just want to see him. I want to board the ship that will take me to him. Oh, cruel world. So it's a dying wish now, is it? We should help her out, Vice. We've better things to do than stay here and operate a lighthouse. You'll have to convince the villagers to help. Come on, let's start with the postman. Listen, about the lighthouse lady, could you reconsider? You really should let her go. We can't. Look, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to trust me. This is for her own good. Death stalks this woman, Postman. Would you truly deny her final request? She's... wait, she's dying? Yeah. So if you are doing it for her sake, then you should just grant her final request. But we can't! Look, I... I have things to attend to. Come back tomorrow. Look, I... Hmm... Methinks the postman is hiding a secret of his own. I suggest we go back. I have a feeling we might discover something. I can't believe she's going to die. 
I suppose there's no need for this now. Listen, Mr. Postman. Hey! What are you doing here? I would ask the same of you. Uh, work. Just, just some work. Wait, are you writing a letter? I don't see how that's any of your business. Well then, allow me to ask about something that is very much our business. Why are the old lady's letters, and only her letters, postmarked from this very office? What? Well, that's because... um... The other deliveries bore postmarks from locales far and wide. What are you getting at, Vice? A woman was not receiving letters from a lover in some far-flung land. They were penned by the hand of someone in this very town. Well... crap. Go to the back room. There's something there you should see. There's another room over there. Clear these packages out of the way. Whatever it is, he could have put it in a more convenient spot. It must be something he wanted to keep hidden at all costs. sizable bundle. They were all written by the woman in the lighthouse. And you never thought to deliver them? I couldn't. Not anymore. Here, look at this. It's a death notice. For her true love, I presume. Then who sent the woman all those letters? I did. What manner of cruel hoax is this? I didn't mean for it to be cruel. None of us did. The whole town agreed to help. So you're all in on it? Those letters kept her going. They gave her hope. She believed her love to be alive in a foreign land somewhere, and we couldn't bear to tell her otherwise. So, we just kept the lie going. It started with my father some 50 years ago. Are you gonna keep lying to her? Yes. The truth can only cause her pain. Are you sure she's better off this way? It's not a very happy truth, now is it? What about her final request? I don't know. How should I know? I'm just a damn postman. I don't know what to do anymore. What's the best thing to do? What's the right thing? Here, I have a new letter. Take it. It says that her love is coming, but that the journey will be long. It tells her to wait. You wish us to deliver another letter filled with lies? You uncovered our town's deepest secret like it was nothing. I don't think that's an accident. Look, I've told you what I think. Deliver the letter or tell her the truth. It's up to you. Look, I've told you what Oh man, this is tough. What do we do, Vice? What do we do? Calm yourself, lad. There's no need to get in a froth over a problem of someone else's making. It's hard to believe the entire town was lying to her. I wager their intentions were good. Elsewise, they would not have carried on with the ruse for 50 years. It also explains why they tasked her with keeping the lighthouse running, so news of her love's demise would not reach her. Maybe that really was the kind thing to do? You! Do you 
have any further news for my love? This is for you, but your love didn't write it. Oh, posh! It's his handwriting, and I recognize the stationery, too. That which you recognize comes from the town's postman and his father, not from your beloved. Are you saying those two idiots wrote all these letters? But... but why? Your lover perished long years ago, and they had not the heart to tell you. Thus, the charade. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. To tell you the truth, part of me had suspected something like this. But it's hard to hear a secret thought finally spoken aloud. I... I think I should be alone for a while. I'd like to ask you a favor. I want you to forget we ever had this conversation. The entire town has worked on this story, and they did so to make me happy. I don't want their hard work to go to waste. So I will carry on as if I am none the wiser. As you wish. Please, tell the postman. Thank you. We will. You have my thanks. Legs still bothering me, so I don't think I can get back to my rounds for a bit. We got the lip. Hope this. If you're ready, come back. We've got. See you later. Well. Hope you My weapons went Thank you Thanks for your business.
I bought your tulip bulbs. Thanks. Here's the money. Which job should I give you first? Sounds like the florist needs some shopping done. Come back whenever you... Hmm... Which job should... Sounds... Come... Hmm... Which job should I give you... I got a letter from the seafront postman. Apparently he has a message for you. How mysterious. I wrote down the client's location on your map. So, head over there to get the details. Apparently, you can so Oh, I forgot. I was going to ask you to get some fertilizer as well. Next time you're in Seafront, can you pick up three bounty fertilizers for me? Sure thing. Why not fill your garden? I hope... What? I hope you... Uh. 